So in this video, I want to talk about the 5am club. For me, this was a game changer. And I know when I talk to people about this, they kind of like just can't believe I get up at five o'clock every day. But it takes like anything about 21 days to create a habit. And once you form that habit, it's hugely powerful in terms of your success. Now, the reason so many good businesses and so many successful entrepreneurs get up and kill the morning hours, I think in this modern world is because there's no distractions. You know, it's easy to have someone ring you. It's easy to, you know, have something get thrown at you through your day, especially building property businesses where you're probably building it alongside something else, uh, a job or another self-employment, something like that. So it's difficult to get everything done if those interruptions occur and therefore your business doesn't move forward. So I made the decision to try it. It was tough, don't get me wrong. And you've got to understand that you're going to lose sleep, but you train your body like anything else. So I go to bed at 10, I get up at five, that's seven hours sleep. That's all your body really needs. Six hours is what they say is the minimum. For me, six and a half is my minimum. I find if I do six, I'm a bit too tired. I did try getting up at four o'clock uh, for a while, but that didn't work. And ultimately going to bed at 11 and, and sort of getting up at five. So that didn't work for me. So you've got to find what works for yourself. But what you need to do is make sure, a bit like everything, you're planned 24 hours ahead. You know what you're going to get up to as soon as you get up to. And then when you get up, you take action. It's really, really important that you know what you're going to do. So for me, between five and six is my educational time. I, you know, I want to make sure that I move forward as a person. So whether it's a personal development or whether it's business development, uh, whatever I'm studying at the time, whatever I'm working on with my mentor at the time, whatever that might be, I want to make sure that I'm moving forward on that, on that basis. So when I get up five to six, that's the first hour education, education, education. I'll then use six to seven, possibly even till quarter to eight when I take the kids to school as looking at my KPIs, uh, making sure that team's all set for the day, pinging messages in Slack to everybody, uh, making sure that I know what I need to be doing. If there's any tasks that require my attention, marketing tasks, I writing anything or putting, putting together instructions, but mainly it's just putting together instructions to my team. Now for you, getting started building your business that could be um, sending messages out to people on Facebook, um, you know, interacting with your comments in your Facebook groups, you know, doing the marketing activity that you might need to be doing, posting your adverts on Gumtree. That used to be one of my morning um, routines was post my adverts on Gumtree, post my adverts on Marketplace, uh, doing my follow-up. So I used to do my emails to my estate agents all the time, you know, follow-up. So um, I do that throughout the day now, but I used to do it in the morning when I was first started because obviously I had other things going on post eight o'clock. So I used to try and just get the core sort of three hours of my property business done between five and eight o'clock every day of the week, seven days a week. Now, obviously I don't get up at five o'clock, you know, hundred percent of the time, but I'd say 98% of the time I do most weeks, seven days a week, I'll get up at five. You know, if I go on Friday night and have a few beers with my friends, yes, all right, fair enough. I might not get up at five. At, um, five however my body clock is so in tune with getting up at that time now it very rarely sleep past six o'clock no matter what how late i've been the night before so and even then i will get up and I'll, I'll you know try and at least move myself forward no matter what i'm feeling like and pushing through that so it's really important that you nail your morning routine now a lot of people say i prefer to do it at night and this that and the other but for me mental fatigue is set in by the time four or five o'clock past, you've had a busy day, things have been happening, you, you know, you might have had a stressful day, etc. So it's really important that for me, you do it while you're focused. Um, I used to throw meditation in there on the morning, which is great for thinking and creating ideas, 10, 15 minutes of it. Um, great for just getting inside your mind and just letting ideas pop in and then writing them down uh, and then taking action on them. So that was super helpful for me. And then, you know, you're just trying to get your own routine ready, but the core fundamentals of it is what action am I taking that's going to move my business forward today? And what action am I taking that's going to move me, 
as a person forward today. And then by the time you walk out the house at eight o'clock to go to work, or by the time you take the kids to school, you know you've moved yourself forward. Doesn't matter what happens for the rest of that day. If you can squeeze some more property stuff in throughout the day, fantastic. You know, you're going to move forward quicker. But as long as you're getting the core fundamental stuff out of the way, and you know, you've got plenty of learning to do, you've got plenty of stuff to be doing uh, just on this program alone, that could take up all three of those hours every single morning. You know, you could be doing enough of it. So the more you do, the more you get out of it. But the main thing about it is nothing gets in the way. There's no one WhatsApping you. You know, you're not getting sucked into Facebook. You're not, no one's ringing you. You're not having problems getting thrown at you. Your emails aren't pinging away at you. You know, nothing is happening at that time. The world is asleep and you're up taking action. And that was a game changer for me. And I would encourage any of you to do exactly the same. Push through the three, four weeks of pain of forcing yourself up, getting yourself up, making sure that you get straight up and then getting straight into it. So leave. What I did also find was my, I used to sit on the couch and quite often not, I would sometimes doze off. So you've got to get up, sit at a workplace, an office desk, a kitchen desk, wherever, a chair on the kitchen, wherever, somewhere, and just make sure that you're taking action and you're committing to it every single day.